what's up guys acid explosion here and today i am on my higher level account as you can see i am not going to be doing a let's play today in place of that i'm just going to show you a pretty cool attack but i just want to say this is my higher level base i'm working on upgrading my last two mortars to level six and right now i am also upgrading my healers to level three and i actually have gotten a lot of progress with pretty much most of my troops level five including the wizards giants goblins archers and barbarians all level five so let's head on into it this is uh, this attack is from our last clan war that we had and uh my first attack was a fail so that's kind of a bummer but this attack however was a three star with hog riders level one hog riders so this is basically just a low level hog rider attack but i still thought it was a pretty cool video because Generally, you don't see people, a lot of people doing hog rider attacks at low levels because they're not very strong. So, I mean, I've heard that uh, some people have said, wait till you have a level 4 hogs because anything below level 4 is just too weak. But I guess I've proved them wrong. Depending on what type of base you're attacking, uh, the hog riders is really, really strong. Anyway, starting off here, I got dropped all my hog riders in two different places. That's one of the key parts of this. And also, you want to drop your healing spells whenever they get weak. Or in this case, I just dropped them wherever the hog riders were because I figured, you know, I have three healing spells. There's not that many defenses on this base. But look at them. Look at them just wipe these defenses out. In about 30 seconds or less, all of the defenses are gone. The only thing you have to really worry about now is giant bombs. And luckily, if you're lucky, most of your hog riders will be spread out enough so that they won't be harmed by giant bombs. Like, at least not all of them will die at once. Because I just realized giant bombs actually do 1.5 times damage more to hog riders. So they kind of nerfed it a little bit. That's probably the reason, like, not a lot of people are doing it. As you can see, there was a giant bomb that just went off over there, taking off about half my hogs, but I had some others spread out around the base. Also, my king was still alive. Um, he wasn't doing much, though, just smacking the wall. And there's a giant bomb that also went off right down there, killing more of my hog riders. But, as you can see, I still have enough left, 99%, as they jump over here to get that last gold mine. And there we are, three stars. So, yeah, guys, I just want to say that was a really good attack, and don't listen to what people say. If if the hog riders, if they say hog riders are bad at level one, don't listen to them. It just takes a little while to get used to. But hog riders are still pretty good. Anyway, we are in a cu current war right now. Preparation day, nine hours and fifty five minutes left. Uh, yeah. So I guess I'll do my best. I might actually start a uh, a little clan wars little thing where I can record all my attacks in all the clan wars because I do different attacks. And plus, you can get a little feel of a little higher level account. So, yeah. I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. And right now, I'm just checking out the war wins and war stuff. Yeah, we won the last four. We used to lose a bunch, and that's before we got a ton of new members that joined. So, you could be one of those new members to join right now. And, uh, yeah. Just gotta say thank you guys for watching. Join the clan Invincible Hawks. I will leave the clan name in the description if you want to join. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Peace out. See you tomorrow on Let's Play Episode 5. Peace out, guys.